Okay, on page 32, the TRIO uh, Plus Manual, you'll see this using uh, an uh, FS3X foot switch. I have it on the tabletop setting. And uh, so that allows me, like I said in the, the video you're about to see, that's what I use so I don't have to mess with the foot switches here. Now here's this. It's got these, uh, I added these little caps on here because if you're barefoot with socks on or whatever, not having these caps is painful sometimes. So that's why I got these. I'll leave a, a link to where you can get some of these caps right there. See, they just press on. But what you do in order to get this to uh, link up with this correctly is here's the cord. To this pedal now you push that center pedal in and while you're pushing it in you want to plug this in right here all the way I didn't do it because I can't hang on to the, this thing here and push at the same time and anyway leave this down while you're plugging it in and then let it go and now it'll program itself to run these three switches just like it shows in the manual and that's for each SD card that you put in there. So this particular SD card will remember that setting. So each time you put in a new SD card, you're going to have to tell it once again um, the button settings you want. So it's well worth it getting one of these switches. I got this one used off of Sweetwater. But even at full price, they're worth it. They, they really take a beating as opposed to these two switches taking a beating so anyway all right on to the video okay another video here uh a friend of mine requested this long distance <laughs> so i thought i'd go ahead and do it and uh it's a song called hey joe and i've done this a couple of times at my little solo gig and uh come out really good had a lot of fun with it and you can just drag it out as long as you want and um uh, change it up a little bit do whatever you want but I got this one and uh, C and what I'm going to do is just play the basic bass part you're not trying to impress this thing with your fancy chords that 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 comes later you know when you go to you know you're finally finished with it and you're playing over it you got to remember you're just teaching it to play the bass part and trying you know and it'll follow your style um, as you're you know playing away on the neck here um, and it's just up to you to get it fine fine tuned I've got mine I'm gonna start out with a rock setting I don't have a style set up I'll be changing that a little bit change the drums up a touch I've got the uh, simple bass off so I'm letting it do its thing um, otherwise if you want to tame it down a little bit you just hit that button and it calms it down a little bit. You hit it again, now it'll just play the root notes. It'll just hold them out, each each note of the chord. So I always start out um, just letting it do its thing. Sometimes it works out really good. Other times it gets a little carried away. But it really depends on how you attack the neck. It needs to be clean, a full signal, all the way up. You know, just a good, strong, clean signal. No distortion. Again, you're teaching this thing to play the bass. Not, you know, not do your guitar part. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so think simple. Uh, and then you pretty much got to sing the song in your head. I mean, I could play it right now on YouTube, which is the way I usually do it. I break them down into, like I said in my previous video, I break a song down into a verse. And then when I get the verse done, I go to the second part, hit this button. I'll teach it the, the chorus part. And then that way I can go back and forth. And that's that gives me a build, the ability to sit here and drag a song out as opposed to a, a rigid backing track, you know, where you've got to blast right through it. Um, people are getting into it, and all of a sudden the song's over, and, you know, then what? So that's kind of why I went... Uh, with this right here because you can break the song down into segments and I've got a 
a switch down here. You can't see it. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Oops. Hang on a minute. It's falling apart. <laughs> anyway, here's the switch, the foot switch. This right here, as the song's playing, if you hit that button once, it will set you up like. If you're like if you're in the verse you're playing along in the verse uh, and then you're wanting to go to the chorus whoop, there you go you'd hit that button and it'll switch it and it'll set that one up for the next part after you come out of the verse hit the button again it'll take you back and then of course this uh, stops it if you hit it fast or if you hold it down it will erase what you just tried to teach it and then you can start over again and this button oh god I keep getting out of the stream this button here um handles the looper end of it i don't do too much with a looper i like just playing over the bass and drums i play the rhythm and uh, the lead to it so yeah this this switch right here is worth its weight and gold just for the wear and tear because i use the hell out of this button and this one next as opposed to uh, wearing these out, banging away on these. When I first got this, this got to a point where it kind of squeaked every time I hit it. So I went, I'm going to get this. And uh, this is set for the what they call the tabletop setup. If you look in the manual, you'll see what I'm talking about. But right here, lifesaver. <laughs> Let me set that down there. Put my back on here of course this thing gives me a fit every time I turn the camera on so make sure it's in tune <laughs> so here we go I'm gonna do hey Joe and this one here unless you really want to you can actually play it in just one part there's no real chorus or anything in here so uh, that's what makes it kind of nice and easy to learn this song here get the idea of uh, how to uh, make the bass do kind of what you want here so anyway uh, this little light right here is blinking slowly and I'm gonna hit that third switch that I just showed you on my foot switch and watch now it's armed that's spent or blinking fast which means as soon as you play a note it starts picking up what you're doing it starts learning what you're doing so i'm going to do it see here so here we go Turn that 
I'm going to play the same riff, but what's going to happen here is I'm going to embellish it a little bit by hitting this button again. And it's going to give it a little extra oomph, like a little extra ride, a little crash, or whatever. It just kind of mixes it up a little bit so you don't have the same droning rhythm. So let's give this a try. So I got the light blinking slow. Now I'm going to hit that third button, that foot switch on the floor here. Like I said, it's on the tabletop mode. If you look in the manual, you'll see what I'm talking about. What it does, the tabletop mode, like I said, allows the foot switches to take on the wear and tear, and you don't have to mess with these at all. If you'll notice, I'm not even touching these. So, okay, so I'm going to arm it. It's blinking fast, which means it's ready for uh, the pickup. My sound I'm gonna start this and see here now the trick is and in my head I remember how fast I was playing the original verse if you get too far off uh, when you're trying to play the come up with the chorus it'll handle a little bit of speed difference but if it's too much that's just what's gonna happen the song's gonna be a little faster than say the chorus as opposed to the verse so just keep that in mind. Like I said, because I because of YouTube, I can't play along with the video, which is what I normally do, which makes it perfect because that keeps me in perfect time when I break these songs down like this, you know, between the verse and the chorus. Yeah, if you just play along with the with the, your you know your song that you want to learn on uh, YouTube, it, it'll you know it's like having the band sitting right there jamming along with you and. You know, at the same time, it's keeping your speed constant. And that's, you know, I've heard lots of people complaining about, you know, every time I come up with a different part, it's too fast or too slow. That's because you're either playing too fast or too slow for the the other, the, the first segment you recorded. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. I'm not too good at instructions. I just kind of do this stuff. So, anyway. So, here it goes. And see, I'm going to try like a, a chorus or I guess this would be like if I went to a lead or something I would put it on uh, this embellished so, so here it goes um, let's see give it time you saw how I was playing the basic beats and again simplify your mind and just play the bass basic bass part and then the bass this thing will interpret it and it'll start doing its little thing so just keep that in mind 
and take a, a nice easy tuning like this and just practice over and over and over practice your attack on this the, the more you the more you hit the strings cleanly the easier it is for this thing to do its thing and um i don't know three i don't know four bar eight bars um is, is about all this thing really wants to hear because you start getting you play you start playing too much and this thing gets a little creative too creative sometimes so you just want to give it the minimal um, parts to learn so when you you're playing a song on YouTube playing along with it just play the verse all the way through and that will allow you to expand out and then like I said play leads do what I want and uh, yeah anyway it, and then the drums will give a little bit of a fill when it's getting ready to switch over to the or when it's getting to the end of the however many bars you, you recorded and uh, to let you know that it's going to start over again or it's going to go on over to that second part um, so anyway just read the manual watch videos there's people out there that does this way better than I do trying to explain it but I just do it and just hang in there just keep messing around um, different styles of picking I try to stay up up in this area play the notes as high as possible you know um, for some reason it seems to pick up the higher pitched notes uh, than it would if you were to play you know like that um, some songs, hell yeah, you can um, you can strum it. You know, it's like or you know, I guess you could do that. But sometimes, unless you really pick it cleanly, the bass bass part gets a little carried away sometimes. So that's why I like to be rigid about it. sound too much like the song does it but once you hit uh, hit the button for it to take over and see as opposed to me doing this is what I was doing to teach it stroke is where you end it timing is everything so when you hit the button button right there hit the button and it that's the part it learns right there and the tighter you get it on that down stroke at the beginning and this thing's gonna be interpreting a whole lot better of what you want so timing 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 <laughs> timing and speed there you go and again um when you try to teach it something and it takes off sometimes it don't sound <laughs> exactly the way you want it to in your head so that's why you've got to adjust these afterwards just because it's sitting sitting in a certain spot when you're teaching it it doesn't mean nothing it's just a starting point so after you teach it what you want then move around to the different uh, genres until you can kind of get close to the, the style of drum you want and then you can really dial it in for the bass part over here on the style now these over here on this side are really for the 4-4 time and you get over here on this side of the dial I think it's 10 11 and 12 I think I think it's 10, 11, 12 are like um, shuffle beats. But whatever's lit up here, that's what it, it's it's suggesting those settings for for whatever it whatever song it tried to interpret for you. So anyway, and again, leave the tempo straight up. Make sure that's straight up until after you're all done, and then you can mess with that. And if it comes out too fast for you, hit that alternate 
time button, it'll either slow it down or it'll speed it up um, for you. So that's that's about all I got. Uh, hopefully I didn't babble too much. I'm sorry about that. Um, like I said, I'm not a very good teacher <laughs> verbally. I just do it. But I've, I've got a lot of songs I've done, and I play on the weekends with us, and it comes out great. Um, there's 12 songs for each of these SD cards here. And, uh, you know, these 12, there's 12 spots here. And when you hit song, that button right there, anything that's lit up, is there's a song in there that you've uh, recorded. And um, anything that's not lit up is empty. So you can take the space there and use that to learn, you know, another song. But So I've got like 12 songs, which is just about right for a set. I'll set them up ahead of time, play the set, and then at the end of the set I'll pop this out and put in uh, the number 2 SD card with my second set of music uh, songs I'm going to do pop it back in there, fire this thing back up, and be on my merry way. And I have a tablet. Uh, it's a set. It's called Set List Helper. And uh, you can make up sets. And you write down the name of the songs. You know, number one song is, say number one is, uh, Are You Sure Hank Done It This Way? Number two would be Call Me The Breeze. Number three, Whole Lot Of Shaking. And it corresponds to these numbers here. So I'd start out with number one song. I get down with it. Go to number two. And I know ahead of time number two is uh, Call Me the Breeze. Number three is Whole Lot of Shaking. Number four is Sunspot Baby. And so on and so on. I've never had a problem. Just don't mess with the dials while you're out playing with it. Because it saves it wherever it was last set so if you unplug it if you mess with anything like this goes up accidentally and you unplug it plug it back in and then go to play another set it's gonna speed your songs up you don't want that so don't don't mess with that that's another good thing about having a foot switch because once you get the foot switch you can be playing have this up here by your side and just use this to switch the songs or adjust the, the volume uh, for the looper or the bass or the drums and you never have to touch anything here the foot switch does it all um, again it saves wear and tear on these switches here so okay once again that's it we'll see you later